Dear friends, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn Sciography of Line in different condition. So without any further delay, let's get started. If you are new to this topic, you can watch my previous video about Introduction to Sciography. The link is given in the description box. In previous tutorial, we learnt about Sciography of Point in different condition and sciography of line when line perpendicular to HP or VP in different cases. Let's start with condition number 3 when line parallel to VP and making an angle with HP. Case 1. A line AB 5 cm long parallel to VP 5 cm away from VP making an angle of 45 degree with HP and point B is 1 cm above the HP. Take a look into 3D representation. We can see that shadow is falling on HP and away from point B as line is not resting on HP. Now it's time to draw sciography of line AB. So draw basic orthographic projection of line as per the given condition. And now draw a light ray on point A in plan at 45 degree and extend it, it to the ground line. And now draw a light ray on point A in elevation and extend it to the ground line. In this particular case, light ray of point A in elevation strikes the ground line first. So it will move straight in horizontal plane. And wherever it strikes the light ray of point A in elevation, that point is the shadow of point A that is A dash. Now repeat the same process for point B and join the point A dash and B dash to get the shadow profile of line AB as per the given condition. Case 2. A line AB 5 cm long parallel to VP 5 cm away from VP making an angle of 45 degree with HP and point B is resting on HP. Now again take a look into 3D representation we can see that the shadow is completely falling on the ground that is HP and shadow is starting from the base of the line that is B point. Now it's time to draw sciography of line AB to so draw basic orthographic projection of line as per the given condition. And now draw a light ray on point A in plan at 45 degree and extend it, it to the ground line. And now draw a light ray on point A in elevation and extend it to the ground line. In this particular case, light ray of point A in elevation strikes the ground line first. So it will move straight in horizontal plane. And wherever it strikes the light ray of point A in elevation, that point is the shadow of point A, that is A dash. Shadow of line will start from the base of the line, that is point B, as line rests on the HP. Now join the point B and A dash to get the shadow profile of line AB. Case 3. A line 5 cm long parallel to VP, 2 cm away from VP and making an angle of 45 degree with HP and point B is resting on HP. Now again take a look into 3D representation and shift the line towards VP so that the distance between VP and HP will be 2 cm. We can clearly see that how shadow profile is changing. Now shadow is falling on VP and HP both. This condition might be tricky for first time but you will get used to of it by practicing it. So you have to understand it very carefully. Let's start with plan. Draw a light ray on point A at 45 degree and extend it to the ground line. And wherever it intersects the ground line, name that point turning point 1 that is T1. Now draw a light ray at 45 degree on point A in elevation and extend it to the ground line. Wherever it intersects the ground line, name that point turning point 2, that is T2. In this particular case, light ray of point A in plan strikes the ground line first. So it will move straight in vertical plane. And wherever it intersects the light ray of point A in elevation, that point will be the shadow of point A, that is A dash. Now, draw a perpendicular on point T2 in elevation and extend the light ray AT1 to this perpendicular and wherever it intersects the perpendicular name that point as A1. Now join the point B of plan and point A1 with light intensity line. The line BA1 is the shadow profile of line AB if shadow of line AB is falling on HP not on VP as like the previous case 2. And wherever BA1 intersects the ground line Name that point as turning point 3, that is T3. Now 
it's time to draw actual shadow of line AB as per the given condition of case 3. So join point B to T3 and T3 to A dash with dark intensity line to get the final shadow profile of line AB. So this is all about the psychography of line. I hope it will be helpful to you.